most attorneys offer a free consultation. It is a great way to initiate a relationship with a potential client. But the potential clients still need to select who to call from the long list of attorneys handling their type of issue. Videoforus.com offers a rational way to select which lawyers to call for a free consultation. With Videoforus.com, people are in contact with lawyers who explain the characteristics of their field and converse with individuals potentially having a case. And if the termination is unlawful, meaning that it violated a provision of the law, uh, there are steps that you can take to remedy uh, or seek a remedy for the wrong that's been done to you. And that remedy could include, for example, lost pay, lost benefits, um, damages for pain um, and suffering, emotional pain and suffering, mental anguish, stress, anxiety, damage to your reputation. During a one-hour session, four to six situations can be discussed. Individuals can ask questions like, how long does it typically take to settle a personal injury claim similar to my case? So how long should it take to settle an automobile or a personal injury claim? Let me just start out by saying that really depends on what kind of settlement you want. Insurance companies will typically make a lowball offer within a matter of weeks or months of the time of an accident. And if you want to take that type of offer, you can get it done quickly. You can, you can have a settlement in a matter of weeks. But I, most of my clients don't want that type of settlement. And so usually what I deal with are people who want a good or even the best settlements possible. They can ask questions about the percentage of cases that the lawyer settle out of court. They can ask questions about the fee structure, hourly fees or contingency fees. One of the things that most people don't know is you hire a lawyer in this type of case and it's a contingency fee practice, meaning the lawyer doesn't get paid until the end of the case and it's a percentage of the recovery. And almost every lawyer charges the same contingency fee. They can ask questions about the experience of the lawyer with this type of cases. But you may be paying a contingency fee to a lawyer who has almost no experience trying cases when the reality is you can get a lawyer for the exact same percentage that has a wealth of experience trying cases. Take a look at the lawyer. Make sure it's a lawyer that has a track record of success. They can ask questions about how the lawyer communicates with their clients.